Tonight's headlines are brought to you by McDonald's. Good evening, Commonwealth, and thanks for watching the Channel 2 News. I'm Sally Lemis. Let's take a look at tonight's top stories. A former senator now needs Senate confirmation after an appointment. Also tonight, after years of waiting, critical road repair is underway. And the fire department is hot to find some stellar recruits. In sports, call it the ultimate victory, for that is what it was. Stay with us, these stories and more are next. Meal replacement smoothie is a great way to keep your fitness goals on track during 2021 and they taste great. It's fast and easy. The May smoothie of the month is pineapple carrot cake. It includes banana, granola, raisins, cinnamon, carrots, and pineapple with 21 and a half grams of protein. It's good for your eyes and good for your waistline. Check out the Shake Cafe Gold's Gym, Garibay. We're in a race whether we know it or not. Build our new normal. Enough for Mali to be out. Let's Let back the HDMI. HDMI. And there you have it McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwich. From the makers of the world's most stolen fries. The juicy chicken sandwich from the place that offers extra napkins for a reason. The tender chicken sandwich from the creators of a sandwich phenomenon. So you won't just be biting into a chicken sandwich. You'll be biting into McDonald's new crispy, juicy, tender chicken sandwich. Ba -da -ba -ba. Half a day to the WAMI and good evening, Commonwealth. Today is Friday, May 21st, 2021. Governor Torres selects a former senator to take over public lands office. Former Senator Sixto Igisomar is the next uh, appointee uh, nominated uh, to the Department of Public Lands. All right. So his uh, begin start date is, uh, I believe June 1st is the date that uh, we're pushing. In a separate interview, Sixto Igesomar states he is currently arranging all the necessary papers in preparation to appear before the Senate. Complete the nomination by the uh, governor and the lieutenant governor to be the next DPO secretary, their nomination. Uh, I'm actually excited about it, but also at the same time truly humbled. And uh, just uh, getting ready to uh, put all my documents together and to transmit to our governor, lieutenant governor, so that they can process the papers accordingly for their Senate review. Igesomar adds that he applauds former DPL Secretary Marianne Teregezu for all the work she did. And if confirmed by the Senate, he is eager to begin the new journey. I know that we have a lot of things going on, a lot of things, a lot of excitement that the former secretary uh, put in place. So my initial plan, of course, will be a uh, bottom-up review uh, of the department uh, to review all the efforts and uh, achievements is done. And if there's anything else, how I can push these agendas out with respect to the homesteads, uh, the homestead program for our people, and also the uh, land leases 
that are uh, that uh, I know she's uh, worked hard on. Iggy Somar was a senator in the 18th 21st legislature, representing the 3rd Senatorial District. One of his biggest and most historical accomplishments during his time in office was the passage of the Sinai Cannabis Act. Iggy Somar was the author of the bill. His appointment to become new secretary comes after Mayor Interregedu was moved to help manage the newly created Infrastructure and Recovery Office. Officials break ground on the upcoming airport road construction project. It's a project long overdue, but finally, the airport road in Dandan is getting repaired. Repairs of the roadway will begin from the intersection in San Vicente all the way to Route 304 Flame Tree Road. Hawaiian Rock Products is the main contractor for this project, headed by General Manager David Bush. The project we've actually started, as you can see, we've set up our laydown area. Um, the surveyors have also started doing the survey on the road, which is required. They then plot out plot that out. We submit that to Public Works to support um, what they have documented and so what we do is we plot it out and then we set the actual grades that are there on the, on the road and in this particular project we match the existing road elevations. There's no changes to the road elevations because they don't want to affect the drainage. Drainage was a concern to many of the residents of that area. DPW's Highway Administrator, Lorraine Villagomez, states that after hearing them out at the public hearings, they went ahead and addressed the matter. The drainage system will be addressed uh, later uh, because there are a lot of uh, things involved in the drainage system, and that's the off-site drainage system. Okay, but that will be uh, taken into uh, what do you call that, consideration as well as public works. But because they did air their concern, um, the plans were revised to meet the permitting um, so that we can proceed with fixing up the road. The road repair will only include removal of existing asphalt pavement and repaving with the new asphalt with anti-skid. New pavement markers will be stripped and permanent traffic signs will also be included. The project is fully funded by the Federal Highway Administration with no local matching required. Lieutenant Governor Arnold Palacios, together with the Highway Task Force has taken the lead of this project. As you all know, we, we, we've been in this process for over six to eight months, going back and forth how to get it done. Uh, we broke ground today. There has been challenges uh, during the, you know, on the way to, to today, and, uh, but I'm glad that <clears throat> after you know, much meetings and, and looking at the issues and the challenges, uh, uh, DPW and the Office of the Governor and CIP office were all, you know, uh, able to pull these off. Lieutenant Governor has done a lot of work, uh, just constant meeting, making sure that permitting is done right, uh, the, the um, A&E is done right, and addressing, uh, personally addressing all the um, residents' concern. Uh, today's a good day. Uh, as you know, tourists are our, our only industry here, and coming here and fixing our road is the first step of um, the world-class uh, world destination. This road is very important to us because it's the first and last impression that our visitors see when they arrive at the airport and when they depart the island. So as a, as a prime tourist destination, it's very important for us to make sure we leave those lasting impressions uh, when they get here and when they leave so that they can go back and uh, share um, the wonders of the Marianas with their friends and families and attract more visitors here. The Sinai Fire Department announces several job opportunities for the community. The launch of the Fire Academy is underway. According to Fire Chief Dennis Mendiola, they anticipate the closing of applications to be next week. And we're anticipating hopefully we can get an academy running by the middle of June, if not late June. Once the Office of Personal Management closes the application phase, the selection process with the Department of Fire and Emergency Medical Services begins. Applicants must pass the English 101 test at the Northern Marianas College. Then they will go through an agility test followed by an interview. Currently, DFEMS has more than 30 vacancies, five of them for fire cadets. Right now there's five openings through OPM, but we're also, we work with WIA, our partners. Um, we got 30 personnel from WIA. So we're looking at it roughly 35 just for Saipan. And then we got uh, eight for Rhoda and six for Tinian. 
For more information, you may visit the OPM office at the Springs Plaza in Gualaray, Tinian's Mayor's Office, and San Jose Village. Coming up, we have a new trivia question, and we hear from a most youthful speaker. Stay tuned. For the different beats of your life, we're here to keep you connected the way you want it. Plans made for you, by you. Build your own bundle with Link. Select the internet, entertainment, mobile, and home phone plans that fit your lifestyle. Pay for what you want, not for what you don't. Build your own bundle and save with Link. We're in a race whether we know it or not. And build our new normal. Enough of my to be out. Let's activate CMI. One of the best things you can do during the pandemic is to get yourself healthy and strong. Gold's Gym is a great place for a tune-up. Wide open workout spaces with dedicated cardio, free weights and machines, personal training, group exercise, and good nutrition. Short-term daytime promo on sale now, just $159 for three months. Call 233-4000. At one of Saipan's beaches, this mother lays about 100 eggs under the cover of darkness. She hides her nest as best she can and then slowly makes her way back to the ocean. The eggs hatch and the babies head for the sea where they will face a daily dose of danger. Just one in a thousand will make it to adulthood. Those that do will one day lay their own eggs. Sea turtles are protected under CNMI law. If you see one that is stranded or if you see illegal activity, call the hotline at 287-8537. The Tan Sri Lin Foundation promotes the culture of giving back. The foundation and its generous partners are committed to supporting programs that include health, education, and sports. Initiatives that promote arts and culture, the environment, and tourism will benefit our community and our residents. Giving back and making a difference will help ensure that the island paradise we call home will be a better place to live. Welcome back to the Channel 2 News. The CNMI 18th Youth Congress held their organizational session, electing an incumbent representative from Tinian as speaker. Cielo Satali Gutierrez Long is the first Youth Congress speaker from the island of Tinian. This is her second term and states there is still a lot of work to be done. A big part of why I decided to join again was because we had a lot of unfinished business to take care of. A lot of our bills got introduced but were not fully passed. So this term I'm looking forward to reintroducing those bills and hopefully passing them once again and to make some real change. Cielo is the daughter of former Board of Education member Philip Long, who is very proud. She's really excited. She, she knows there's a lot of money coming in the CNMI, so she's already working with her group to say, okay, there's money, so let's have a policy. And then, you know, she's talking to everybody about what policy she can do. So it's really great to see this young to say, you know what, we're going to grab our future and we're going to take it. Speaker Long tells us what we can expect from her this year. You can expect from me a lot of involvement within our community. I will do my best to reach out to many um, organizations, any ideas, even the schools of what we can implement into the system. Maybe even like a, like a program in the school that teaches you about spending and 
investments and making sure that we put into the curriculum things that are needed for our future. And now we move on to the Tourism Month trivia. Who is the most famous golfer to ever visit Saipan? Our Chris Nelson has more on this. So who is the most famous golfer to ever visit Saipan? This was our trivia question on Wednesday night, part of our Tourism Month promotion with the Marianas Visitors Authority. We got a lot of responses, and many of you answered with Larry Nelson, the man who designed Coral Ocean Point. Now, Larry has been here, and he actually won a golf tournament here at COP with Jeff Taylor as his caddy. But that's not the right answer. Lots of you answered with Greg Norman, the designer of Lao Lao Bay Golf Course. Another good answer, but Norman has actually never been to Saipan, at least as far as we know. He designed the course from afar, and the man known as the Shark hasn't stepped foot on island. This was a tough question because the most famous golfer to ever visit Saipan didn't play golf here. In fact, he wasn't here very long. The answer, drum roll please, Tiger Woods, the former world number one. Tiger's been here quite a few times, in fact, but the only sport he played was baseball catch on the tarmac at the Saipan International Airport. Roman Tadella Jr. knew the answer to this question. In fact, he got to meet Tiger. I, I know Tiger Woods has been coming you know, here and there, he's done multiple flights to Saipan, but I guess it was all few stops. Uh, he was always going to the Philippines. Didn't know why, but I know he's been doing uh, some, probably, tours. Did you get to see Tiger in person? Yes, yes, I did. In fact, uh, there was one incident where um, one of my co-workers uh, wanted an autograph. And uh, it was so funny because uh, he didn't have any uh, paper with him. So he took out his bill and asked uh, Tiger to sign, and Tiger refused. And, you know, Tiger said, sorry, I don't sign bills, you know. And, you know, I, I was teasing him going back because, you know, he just never got the autograph. The second most famous golfer to ever step foot on Saipan? The Golden Bear, Jack Nicklaus. Today I got to meet him too. Frank Villagomis, who brought him down to Im immigration, uh, was telling you know was telling us how famous he was, and I didn't know at the time, so I actually googled him after after work and I, I found out that this guy was a, a record breaker you know, and I was I was so privileged to to have that honor to meet him. What what year was this? I'm not too sure, but sometime in the um, early '90s I guess or, or late '90s some somewhere there. Okay. Yeah. And he or, came in on or early 2000 something, yeah. And he came in on private aircraft. Private from, aircraft, his own private aircraft. It's called Air Bear. Congratulations, Roman. You are the winner for Wednesday night trivia. Now, sticking with famous athletes who have visited Saipan, tonight's trivia question is this: Who is this sumo wrestler who visited Saipan? You may remember he made a big splash when he came here. If you know the answer, email it to chris at kspn.com. First correct one to answer is the winner and will get a gift certificate from the Marianas Visitors Authority. I know the answer to that. I was there. All right, coming up in sports, let's see what we got. Oh, it's time to get excited. We've got top plays of the week. lets you do TV your way with Docomo Pacific D TV Plus. Watch your favorite live and local channels, stream movies and shows on TV, on your phone and on your tablet, right from your Docomo Pacific Wi-Fi. No more wires, no more cable boxes, now with the best price. Do TV your way with Docomo Pacific D TV Plus.
Buy one, get one free for the off-road adventure at Marianas Trekking. Come ride our side-by-sides at our best price ever and experience a great 90-minute trail ride. Rain or shine, hopefully rain. Book now at Marianas Trekking. Saturdays and Sundays by reservation. Call 323-8735 or book at marianastrekking.com. Get your game and gear at Gold's Gym Saipan. Group exercise is a great way to get fit and then stay fit. For something high tempo, go for a ride with one of our instructors in our new spin room. Let's roll. Pilates improves flexibility, builds strength, and develops control and endurance in the whole human body. It also improves coordination and balance. And the Shake Cafe is a great place to stop by for a meal replacement or supplement. See you at Gold's Gym. Buenos Sports, Sports fans. fans. Buenos sports fans, the sand and Garapan heated up yesterday afternoon with the UBL finals. Ultimately, someone had to win. Uh, well, that's the way the disc flies. Security was loose for this big finale, maybe too loose. Are you security? Yeah, yeah. Steinberg security. You look pretty secure. Okay. Uh, what, what was I supposed to do again? Uh, Pre-championship. Uh, Oh, I thought I was supposed to kick him off the field. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good <laughs> luck with that. You and what army? Yeah, yeah look at army right there. <laughs> army of the dead. <laughs> army of Skyberg may not be in charge of security, but he was the best dressed player on the red team. In the third place game, Tice Mister catches the consolation winning catch to beat Blue. Out of play. Out of play. Red versus Green in the final. Red using the short passing game to score there. Logan Mister scores it to make it 1-1. Hey, look at this. It's just like Major League Baseball where they interview players in the middle of the game. Yeah, it's the modern era. Trey Dunn dives deep to grab that frizz before it hits the sand. Green up 2-1. Spectators were getting their money's worth, especially the front row. First team to nine wins this one. There's the 2-2 two -two mark. This game, one of the few where it's fun to fall down, which leads to a great man-to-man -man defense. But sometimes it's no defense. Hey, who's covering that guy, Mr. Nobody? Back and forth this game goes. Red wins the race. Nine to seven, the final score. Way to go. Our Friday night feature is good night. Don't look back, something may be gaining on you. Young Star Shining brought to you by the Tan Su Lin Foundation. The Mount Carmel Knights won the Boys Beach Volleyball League this school year. Brandon Lee was the youngest player on that squad. Like the rest of us, he's a pandemic survivor. Being on a 
volleyball or any kind of sports team is a significant part of the socialization process. Saipan born and raised at that age, <laughs> he's not worried about diet. Young Star Shining, brought to you by the Tan Su Lin Foundation. It's time to tune in and turn on to the top plays of the week. Number four, this trade done madly by our connection. Coming in at number three, ultimate championship finale. Red digs deep to take it. Can you dig it? At number two, you and you and you. All of you kids who played in the Mephis Grassroots Festival, thanks to you and you and you, they achieved their goal. And the top play of the week is a tie, a photo finish. It's between the fastest girl and the fastest boy in all the school. Tommy and Kyle Elliman, Hicks and Ethan Tang. Here's the wind-up and the pitch. I don't believe what I just saw! For the different beats of your life, we're here to keep you connected the way you want it. Plans made for you, by you. Build your own bundle with Link. Select the internet, entertainment, mobile, and home phone plans that fit your lifestyle. Pay for what you want, not for what you don't. Build your own bundle and save with Link. Go-karts, off-roading, and the driving range now open at Marianas Trekking. Go-kart track will be open Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays with 50% off when you book online at marianastrekking.com hours. 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Use the promo code HAFA50 to get your discount. Off-roading is open too by reservation. Come on a 90-minute trail ride that is perfect for families. Book online at marianastrekking.com. Golfers, come practice on the driving range. You can even pay online and we will have the balls waiting for you. Come see us weekends at Marianas Trekking, 323-8735. Today's high was only 87 because of the rain, the low 78, humidity 82%, tomorrow partly cloudy, isolated showers, winds east 10 to 15, high 90, low 80, seas are 5 to 7 feet out there, sunrise at 546, a low tide at 1038 in the morning, uh, high tide at 4 straight up, sunset at 640. It's official, the weekend begins right now. Have a great one, have a safe one, see you back here on Monday.